The ball is now in Shelly Sterling's court. Now that her husband and longtime business partner Donald Sterling has handed over his control of the LA Clippers, Shelly Sterling is now negotiating with the NBA to possibly sell the team. The NBA made it clear that this was all about Donald Sterling. They weren't penalizing Shelly Sterling. And so, in a sense, this is really a game of legal chess. Why? With the NBA draft fast approaching in June, a quick resolution would benefit the team and the league. Tuesday, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver seemed to offer a way out for Donald Sterling. Sell the team now. And Sterling would avoid the special hearing early next month, requiring him to face charges that he damaged the league and the vote by NBA owners potentially forcing him to sell. I prefer he sell it than we go through this process. So if that's what you mean by man to man, I'm open to that. A move towards selling the team is an about face for all sides. From Donald Sterling, who through his attorney had refused to pay the fine or sell the team, threatening to sue the league. Money is not what I'm interested in. So why not walk away? I, I, I want to show all the people that are associated with basketball and the world I'm not a racist. And Shelly Sterling, who throughout the firestorm professed love for the team. I talked to some of the players. They hugged me. While swearing she'd hold on to her 50%. I think half the team is mine, and I'll fight for it. NBA spokesman Mike Bass now is responding to the reports about Donald Sterling surrendering controlling ownership of the Clippers. Now he states here, he says, we continue to follow the process set forth in the NBA Constitution regarding termination of the Kerner ownership interests in the Los Angeles Clippers and are proceeding toward a hearing on this matter on June 3rd. So Wolf, what we're looking at here is potentially bare knuckle negotiations until June 3rd and we'll see how it unfolds. Don't come to my games. Don't bring black people and don't come. I am told that it is a very apparent uh, at the beginning of the tape that Sterling knows he's being recorded. Effective immediately, I am banning Mr. Sterling for life. In the court of public opinion, he's guilty of being an ignorant, yeah. racist putz in the first degree. So, I am also fining Mr. Sterling $2.5 million dollars the maximum amount allowed. Black people go around this country, they're constantly talking about the racism they have to endure, all of their racist bosses. Every time they find out about one, it's Shaka Dutois, he's a racist. Don't nobody want an 84 year old man, but an 84 year old woman. <laughs> so she was a gold digger, she yeah. set him up, she robbing him and ripping him off, and that's how that is. Do you know that you have a whole team that's black that plays for you? you just, do I know? I support them and give them food and clothes and cars and houses. Who gives it to them? Does someone else give it to them? I wanted to say that uh, last night, people charged me with saying that all white people was racist. That's not what I ever say. So tonight, I want to make it clear that I was not talking about white people. I was clear. talking about 100 all white people. I was talking about 175,385,229 white people. Hmm? Now, I have quantified it, so you all can't say I'm talking about all the white people. Vanessa, what you mean? Help me. I, who knows what Miss Ali means? I don't think anyone knows what Miss Ali means. I think I know what she's saying. She's saying a percentage, tape. Frank, a well, percentage of white she's people. She's a percentage of yeah. white okay, people. Vanessa. We can go back to the tape, okay, and she Vanessa. said very clearly that all white people are racist. Well, she she's said thinking, it is out there, listen. and now she's backtracking I, hey, because I, she well, got... Well, I will give her that opportunity. She's entitled to clarify herself. She got excited yesterday. <laughs> yes, I'm hey, listening, that's right. Vanessa, Miss don't pop your wig. My, don't pop your wig, Vanessa. Hair, that's not sweetie. what I meant. I don't said a certain amount. Don't pop that hat off. Let's talk about the facts. We don't need to it's go in for tit for tat. Let's talk, talk about the facts. You were wrong last night. I called you on well, it. You we need to be that. smart in the way we use our words. We cannot run the risk of looking just as bad as you the racist. You don't tell me what words to use. Shut up. Oh, anyway, oh, what oh, I oh, want oh, to say, I'm not going to be catty. I'm going to rise what above the fray and I'm going to say, look, above, we need to Ali. look at the facts. What? Silver did was what needed to be done, and that was the and most well, that we he can know. do. Hey, and we're Stop! Stop! stop the mic's off. Everybody's mic's off. That's it. I'm saying it. Everybody. Only my mic on right now. Now, here's what we're gonna do. 
ladies, calm. I get it. I get it. And taffy. Well, everybody, everybody. You too. <laughs> Even you, Sam. But your All mic's right. working somehow. Okay. I, 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 I want to get back on track here and ask Frank a question. And that is, do you think that punishment was appropriate for what this man has said? Lodas, Lodas, toujours Lodas, the audacity. There was nothing despicable in what he said. And where do we get off monitoring other person's conversations and then going out and selling them? He did not say anything racist. I heard the tapes. He used the word That's black. Right. He, didn't even, he didn't even use the N word, Ali. That's right. Get real with yourself. Frank, Frank. This ain't that's Frank, right. whenever you talk, Miss Ali, you're, you're confirming everything Miss Ali believes. Amen. A and, and Vanessa, help yeah. straighten this okay. out. Well, I'm, Vanessa. I'm, the one, I'm in the 175 million, Ali. And can only a white person right. be racist? No. No, some races can not. be racist, but it takes more than just the N word to be racist. Right. Because he oh, didn't use like the N word, doesn't mean he's not tell me, racist. What makes a racist? You tell me when what you makes a racist. When he what can sit there racist? and say, well, don't bring black respond. people around, don't bring black people to my game, when you take a certain section of people and have a general right. thought about them, a negative general thought about them, that okay. is racism. There isn't a single black person that has any racism towards a white person. No, that's not what anybody said. Did I ever say that? Now you're just making wild accusations no, to prove a point. Well, let me hear from Miss Ali. Frank, Miss Ali, you wouldn't have, I don't think you said that, did you? Okay, listen, no. This is the thing. The NAACP has been giving him the Lifetime Achievement Award since 2009. Why? Why? And even after what happened with him in 2012. And he has donated to the Indians, Native Americans, to Jewish organizations, to black colleges, and the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is the last organization that black people agree they can use the word colored, because white people giving in and donating so much money. So he's been paying his way. Oh, man. I, I Give it a rest. Now, you're not happy with anybody. You're just going to say, completely disregard anything that anybody does because you're mad that this didn't go the way you wanted to. What Silver did was right. It may be just a slap on the hand, but this no, is no longer not. about it's just wrong. Donald it's and wrong. what he did. This is proving a point that they will not tolerate racism. They did the most and, that they could do, but you're not going to change Donald. Nah, nah, he is he what did he say? Years Hold on. Uh, turn the mics off won't... again. Mics off. Thank you. Sam. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Can they hear me, though? They no, can let's, hear... let's come back in the Okay, let's talk. I have so much anxiety listening to them. I know yes. that this is an important conversation to have, yeah. but I would love to hear, I don't understand why Frank would think that what Donald Sterling said was is not, not discriminatory. All right, let's hear that. Frank, how is what he said, I, I found what he said not only racist, confusing. It was like okay. bizarre he's and more, confusing to me. Dr. Drew, That's he's right. more of a paranoid than a racist. He's a control freak, okay? He's a self-made billionaire. That's right. He don't care if you got to go sell that team. Who cares? He bought it for $15 million in 1981, right. and it's worth over $600 million. So he's going to tell you to take it and stick it, okay? okay? hold on, Frank. I will, but Miss Ali, follow That's that right. up. That's right. And I'll tell you something else. Wait. Yeah, I'm ready. Wait. I'll tell you something else, Dr. Drew. Yeah? Dr. Drew, yes. there's not going to be any boycott. There's going to be no boycotts of the NBA because all of the people that follow those games, they're not going to boycott that game. They better not boycott golf because I'm going no matter what. So they're what not going to do that. Hey, right. Ali, I got a percentage for you. Well, Frank, you're going to have to hold it because uh, I, I, I now need to, I think I need to take Vanessa and she and I need to go have like a, a calming tea somewhere. I, I need to take <laughs> your girl. So, oh, oh, uh, you can hang with, I think. Why don't you have some now, black don't tea? Take Stop. Take her off the show. Stop, Stop it. Hey, hey, hey. You, you two are, you two are, you two, I, I think they're more like each other than I, they know. That's all I'm saying.